14 Patterns of Biophilic Design and the Human Spaces Report came out at roughly the same time, and both are dealing with biophilia and the workplace environment. And they reflect a, a growing trend of more and more companies being concerned about their workers' well-being and realizing that some of the traditional measures of productivity don't go far enough. They don't get at this deeper experience of well-being and health. And so biophilic design is really a way of connecting people within that topic. Having read Kerry uh, Cooper's work in the Human Spaces Report, it was amazing how his research tracks, and it's some of the same research that we saw as well, uh, around biophilia and well-being in the built environment, and particularly in office interiors. What was interesting is that he traced some of the things that we didn't have time to do, and that was looking at cultural differences and how some elements are different for different cultures in different countries. Actually, the biggest surprise in the Human Spaces Report for us was how differently different cultures just within Europe and the Middle East interpreted various colors and the impact of color. We knew that one had a wide range of varieties, but it was surprising to see how just from country to country the differences were.